remember the last podcast I said look for the pattern? Same idea. Look for the pattern in this one. This looks like a huge mess, but notice what it says. PSA pattern. So here's the pattern. Here's what to look for. Look, this and this are the same. So can't I just call this A? I'm going to call this guy A as well. So if you think about this, this is the same as saying A squared minus 6A minus 16. I'll PSA it. Let's see what we get. Okay. Product minus 16. Sum minus 6. That's minus 8 times 2, right? Okay. Gives you minus 16 minus 8 plus 2. Answer minus 8 and 2. Why is there an answer here? It's PSA 1, right? Okay, there's no number up front here. That's why. Okay, so we have A minus 8, A plus 2. But do you remember what A was? Well, look, let's erase them. A was just plain old X plus 3. So all we have to do now is just put the X plus 3 back in. There's the X plus 3. Here's the original, minus 8. Here is, again, the X plus 3, the A. And here is the plus two. All you got to do now is combine like terms and you're finished. It's that straightforward. Look, plus three and minus eight, x minus five, plus three and plus two, x plus five. Done. Whoop. There we go. That simple. Watch again now when I take this and make it even a little bit more complicated by making it a PSA2. But one of the things you have to look for again is this. Look for the fact that this is 3x plus 4. That's 3x plus 4. Again, make it a big A. Look, this becomes 6a squared minus 21a plus 15. Okay, so I know I'm dealing with some pretty big numbers here for my PSA2, and I'll prove it to you because, whoa, where did it go? Okay, look. If I'm doing a PSA 2, you know right away it's going to be 6 times 15, right? Wrong. You forgot something. You forgot to try this first. GCF. See what can get out of all three of these first before you start dealing with some big numbers. Because if you go 6 times 15, you're suddenly dealing with 90 and all kinds of, oh, it's just going to be ugly, right? I can factor out of this mess. I can factor out a 3 leaving me a 2a squared, right, minus 7a plus 5. That's so, so much easier to PSA, isn't it? Aha! So don't forget about good old faithful greatest common factor. Okay, so here we go. Dun, 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 dun. P has a. Okay. 2 times 5, 10. Sum has to be minus 7. Making both of these negative right look at that look at that and again you can't put the answer down because why there's a number up front all right so 2a squared minus 5a minus 2a plus 5 and watch how pretty this turns out now i know what you're saying well what happened to the three well, i haven't gotten rid of it yet just hold on we'll get there in a second i want to concentrate on one thing at a time and that's this guy all right so I can only take an A out here, giving you a 2A minus 5. This is a negative. That's a positive. So that means I have to take a negative 1 out, giving me 2A minus 5. There's my like terms, 2A minus 5. And my, of course, that's gone, that's gone, A minus 1. Now, here's where you put the 3 back in. Don't forget about that lonely old 3 out there, otherwise you'll get that wrong if you're factoring it. Now, the question is, what was A again? We have to go all the way back up to the original question to see what A was worth. A was 3x minus 4. So let's pop that back in there. So this becomes 3, 2 times 3x minus 4, minus 5, 3x minus 4, minus 1. Distribute giving you 3, that'll be 6x minus 8 minus 5, and this will be 3x minus 5, and look at this. Combine like terms, Woo. 3, 
minus 8 and minus 5 works out to be minus 13. So you got 6x minus 13. And finally, 3x minus 5. A little bit of extra work when it's a PSA 2, but it could certainly save you a lot of time if you remember to look for the patterns.